Hello, everyone. My name is Dania. I work at the American Center Tashkent, and it's my pleasure to welcome all of you at our USG Alumni Talks program. We're now live on YouTube and Facebook, so feel free to leave your questions and comments in the chat boxes, and we will address them to our presenter. And our uh, presenter and guest speaker today is Firuza Masharikova. Hello, Firuza Khan. Welcome to Hi, our Hi, Hi. Thank you very much for inviting me for this USG talk, alumni talk. It's a great honor to be here. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation and being our speaker today. Uh, let me introduce you to our audience. Firuza Masharipova has been teaching English as a foreign language for 21 years. She's an alumna of three U.S. exchange programs, uh, and they are Axel's T program, GFDP program, and Fulbright Visiting Scholar programs. Peruza is now a mentor for both uh, pre-service and in-service teachers of uh, Horizon region. She's working as an English language teacher at Urgen State University. Uh, Firuza Masharipova is an Access Micro Scholarship Program Coordinator at Urgen State University, and she is now working on her research topic titled Enhancing STEM Students' Reading Competence Through Integrating Content-Based Instruction as an Independent Researcher. And today we will be talking about Access Micro Scholarship Program. Okay, um, thank you so much again for joining us. Um, I want to remind again, feel free to uh, leave your questions under this video and we will uh, make a questions and answers session at the end of the presentation. Okay, I am turning it over to you, Firzohan, and pulling up your presentation. Thank you, Dania. So my presentation title is uh, Success is in Access. So naturally, the question is, what is Access? So Access is a two-year global scholarship uh, program supported by U.S. government of state, uh, providing, providing access to bright, talented, economically disadvantaged students foundation of English language sk skills, primarily aged 13 to 18 years through after school instruction, including enhancement activities and summer intensive sessions. Uh, uh, in this slide, we have launched uh, Urgent Access Program in 2009 at Urgent State University. When we launched this program, we thought that it's going to be a simple uh, program, international project, uh, but it was impossible at that time to imagine today's access program achievements. In this picture, you can see that learner centered uh, classes in 2009 it is uh, they are our first swallows you can see for example one of our students here on your left side matla tip of sanad he is now doing his doctorate degree phd uh, degree at national university tashkent and he was awarded uh, ulubek state uh, scholarship and uh, on the uh, Opposite side of Senate Peak is uh, sitting Mahmoud Wazul Khumar. She's my colleague now. Can you imagine my uh, our access student is now my colleague. Now uh, she's working at English language and uh, literature department, but recently now on a maternity leave. Uh, so uh, the goal of this program is to prepare uh, access students with minimal knowledge of English with effective communication through critical thinking skills and uh, through cooperative learning strategies and incorporating their meaningful interaction and using real life uh, contexts. Uh, uh, 
in this slide, you can see our current access photo, which we have enrolled in 2020, October. We launched this program in 2020, October. So you can see that our students holding their handouts, they designed their graphic organizers here. In this picture, you can see that uh, thanks to U.S. Embassy, they are providing us with cutting-edge textbooks. The textbook is Macmillan Publication Textbook Open Mind, and they are full of interactive learner-centered activities. These activities are mostly based on the relevant and engaging topics to students' everyday lives. Here, students are doing a word scramble activity based on uh, textbook activities. Excellent. In this slide, in addition to our regular access classes we call after-school instruction, we incorporate enhancement activities. In our enhancement activities, we try to design to teach our students U.S. culture and values about U.S. holidays. You can see here in this picture, we are celebrating a Halloween, uh, Halloween holiday. Uh, so uh, in this picture, you can see that uh, students are playing trick or treat game, uh, U.S. Uh, tradition, one uh, popular tradition of Halloween holiday. Uh, on the next side, uh, you can see uh, Munisa Karimova. She's also my, uh, she's also my, uh, oops. Uh -huh. She's also my colleague now. And uh, on the picture beside us, Munisa is standing, uh, Yulduz Tangrebergyanova. She's a senior course student at English language department. In this picture, also, you can see current uh, of our access program students. We are celebrating Thanksgiving. In these uh, uh, celebrations, we uh, do always experiential learning. So what is experiential learning? Experiential learning is mostly based on like project-based learning, team building learning, and uh, pair activities. In these activities, they are writing their for example, what they are thankful for. So they are producing their paragraphs after learning about Thanksgiving uh, vocabulary and Thanksgiving history and uh, learning Thanksgiving uh, dictionary. They are writing, they are producing their paragraphs about what they are thankful for. Uh, next slide. Uh, uh, yeah, here you can see that we are celebrating uh, Christmas uh, celebration. So students uh, are working in their groups and creating their poster presentations. So this program enables our students to develop, expand their imagination horizons, including their public speaking skills and presentational skills as well. Next slide. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here also you can see they are groups are presenting their posters. In this picture, you can see they are with teachers discussing their new year resolutions. Uh, they uh, their students are creating their new year resolutions, for example. In this upcoming new year, I will be a good student. I will submit all my homework assignments on time. So they, they, they have at least 10 resolutions for a new upcoming year, which uh, makes our students accountable for their learning, and it makes them to reflect their own learning as well. Uh, here you can see that uh, part of our program, we have uh, uh, English language fellows. In this year, 2010, 
uh, at Oregon State University, we worked uh, collaboratively with uh, English language fellow Ingrid Johnson. And uh, all access students, we celebrated uh, Christmas in, at your house. And students are filling the gap lyric of Jingle Bells and they are singing together with Ingrid Johnson, this song. So uh, besides uh, these uh, holidays, we celebrate Mar Martin Luther King's Day. Why we celebrate uh, these civil activists, civil rights activists? Uh, students learn the history of famous people and uh, they uh, will try to nurture on them leadership skills as well. And uh, after learning about Martin Luther King, at the end, students produced a paragraph, I have a dream speech. After um, watching the Martin Luther King's motivational speech, I have a dream, our students inspired and got stimuli and they produced their I have a dream. They, in their writings, we uh, even noticed that they produced uh, paragraphs uh, that uh, I have a dream that there will not be pandemics or quarantine lockdown rules. And some of them produced like, I have a dream that Bunyatgar uh, football soccer team will be champion <laughs> one day. It's uh, sometimes as teachers, we learn from our students. It's so curious and their imaginative world also fascinating to us. In this uh, picture, uh, we are celebrating President's Day. In this, uh, we know that uh, students are presenting their projects here. You can see on the blackboard Mount Rushmore, iconic symbol of presidents. And uh, on the next picture, uh, you are uh, you can see that our students. Uh, uh, answering some comprehension questions about Abraham Lincoln, because uh, we uh, show our students uh, Abraham Lincoln's documentary film, biography film, and after that they do some comprehension uh, check questions and uh, they write a summary to this biography film. And uh, they, uh, in a group, they created like my book about George Washington, my book is about uh, Abraham Lincoln, which is uh, which gives students, uh, which expands their horizon and uh, their mindset. Here also groups are presenting their uh, presentations. In the next slide, you can see uh, that uh, we showed them President Joe Biden's inauguration and uh, the uh, students uh, thrilled and uh, uh, they watched uh, that the first female president, vice, vice president Kamala Harris as well, they are uh, sharing in their groups the factors and their biography uh, of uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. And uh, our students, they like at the end to play a, a quiz about their life and work related. And then uh, they really like to uh, answer the questions, for example, uh, how to, uh, what kind of characteristics should uh, each president should have. They like to mention about it at uh, their uh, assignments in their ac uh, activities. And here we uh, do Women's History Month celebration in this, uh, in this enhancement activity. You can see uh, students protest past presentations here about Zulfia Hanum, Pocahontas, Hillary Clinton and Tomaris. So uh, as a women empowerment, uh, uh, students learn about women leaders and their uh, influence in history. And uh, for example, Hillary Clinton and her act of kindness activities, uh, which inspires our students and Kamala Harris 
And besides that, uh, there are they did projects about Helen Keller, for example, they uh, shared, uh, produced some sketches related to them, and after watching a film about Helen Keller, even they wrote, uh, they shared their quotations of Helen Keller, for example, the best and the uh, great things in life cannot be seen. They uh, uh, cannot be seen. They have to be, uh, or they cannot be touched. They have to be felt by heart. So this kind of quotation is make uh, develop on our students their logical thinking uh, to how to analyze, how to evaluate, and uh, how to uh, how to comment uh, back to these uh, quotations. This is uh, too crucial. Our students expanding their mindset. Uh, in these uh, pictures, you can see that our students are uh, celebrating Earth Day. As uh, we are not only teaching them the appearance of uh, being environmentally free, eco-friendly, after learning about uh, environmental issues, we do uh, like uh, we follow the quote uh, saying, action speaks louder so you can see uh, in uh, three schools we have our access gardeners students are planting their planters and uh, here it's uh, our backside of Oregon State University and uh, students planting their planters there and we call it our access garden and they always uh, water and take care these planters In this picture, you can again see that uh, students are learning uh, about three R's, like reduce, reuse, recycle, and uh, they are learning going to be green and uh, being eco-friendly and environmentally free, friendly people. Uh -huh. Here also they are past the presentation is about how they can um, protect the earth, land, air, water, animals. Uh, uh, moreover, we can say that uh, one uh, uh, domain of our enhancement activities is personal development. In uh, personal development activities, we invite guest speakers. So guest speakers, uh, they uh they do uh, activities uh, related to career development or applying to higher education system or they can be from u.s embassy or they can be invited uh, english specialists as they speak about uh, education system in u.s and uh, how to apply u.s programmers uh, they learn how to write cv how to write resume and uh, how to uh, participate uh, or how to to give interviewing skills. They learn about it. Here, English specialist uh, Vivian Leskes is doing uh, some pronunciation activities with our access students. It is 2011. So students are uh, enjoying doing the activity with Vivian Leskes. In this photo, you can see that we have some clubs like drama club, or we call it pop show. And we, of course, at the beginning, we, we always uh, try to make our introvert students to be sociable, or like to think out of box. So at the beginning, we launch activities like puppet show for our shy students. So they are, it gives us confidence for our shy students to produce, to express themselves in behind uh, curtains. So here they are producing Zumrat and Kamat, uh, like uh, re, uh, new new adapt, adaptation of this uh, Zumrat and Komet uh, folk tale. 
So they are active here. And uh, you can see here one more enhancement activity, US holiday, flag day. So students learn about 50 states of US, the uh, capital cities, and uh, uh, what they are famous for. And uh, they, uh, they learn uh, the capital cities nicknames and uh, what uh, industrial cities, for example, uh, why Michigan is famous of, uh, for car industry. Uh, so it makes interesting doing comparing uh, comparison contrast activities or doing Venn diagrams through learning uh, these activities. It, uh, they are hands-on best uh, experiences for access students. Now uh, you can see here the La May Band concert at Urgenc uh, Access. Uh, we know our Uzbek uh, music, Uzbek classic music. It's we know about pop songs, but uh, Della may uh, uh, taught our students uh, what is bluegrass music. So, and uh, in turn, our access students also taught them to our traditional music as well. So, music, I think, it is a, a common uh, language for all people. And uh, when we launched our uh, Urgench Access program in 2009, uh, Ari Roland Jazz Music visited to our Access program. Uh, it was 2nd of November. I uh, still remember their uh, music, how they played because uh, before the starting of the performance, the power power off. Uh, so I uh, kind of uh, worried, disappointed, and uh, talked uh, with uh, this whole art college director. We wanted to call the electric power uh, power uh, plant. Uh, owners uh, when will be the power on but then they said oh Firuza we have now a plan is not working we have B plan so we'll do lively and they learn and practice it let's give before coming to Harezm by saxophone it was so impressive to our students even the capacity of the hall was 400 people but there were uh, students for more than 200 people even students sat on the floor and it was a kind of a um i think uh, uh, all of our students and uh, this uh, jazz band we played uh, in one language we there was a mutual understanding and uh, uh, all the students uh, thrilled by this music even two of our access students become saxophonists after this Ari Rolandes jazz music. Now, uh, Humayun, our jazz saxophonist, is uh, working in Chester uh, Cafe in Urgench, and he, after becoming saxophonist, he uh, participated in Azerbaijan Baku festival and in Turkey festival as well. Now, next slide, you can see Brazzaville Band concert. Uh, again, uh, access students are enjoying uh, with American country music. Uh, they are taking autographs from uh, band, uh, band singers. And uh, it was lovely evening. It uh, was held in Hiva Ichankala. Now here you can see in 2018 and 2020, we have launched Access English for STEM project and we enrolled 60 students from 11 departments like chemical, chemical engineering, bioengineering and the biology department. And you can see these students, how they are working on peer activity, it is um, uh, mostly we try to conduct learner-centered activities. Now, uh, a lot of them, these students graduated in 2020, uh, 18th of September, but 
30% uh, of these students uh, received uh, immediately IELTS certificate because of uh, the uh, STEM project. They learned uh, English language and their uh, specialization as well. And one of our student, Agabek Yakubov, is in, uh, is in exchange program in Romania now. And there are two more our access students who won some uh, scholarship of uh, American counselors. Uh, I consider this uh, a rewarding uh, of our access project. Here you can see uh, uh, Ambassador, His Excellency George Kroll visited in 2012 and uh, he's dancing to Lesgi. Before that, our students showed uh, Michael Jackson dance. And then His Excellency said that, why not uh, should I dance? Uh, I, 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 I'm going to learn Lesgi. So our students teaching uh, His Excellency George Kroll how to dance Lesgi. Lesgi is an energizer music of Harrison. Uh, here, uh, His Excellency George Kroll is uh, giving uh, a voting certificate to me. And in this picture, you can see again, uh, uh, 2015, Urgench Access, Ambassador Pamela Spratlin visited to our access program. Her Excellency uh, had a, uh, after uh, access students showed a performance, uh, Her Excellency uh, really excited, uh, impressed by our students' knowledge, and uh, she and uh, access stu students had a Q&A, question and answer, in access classroom. And in this picture, uh, photo captions, you can see, uh, our recent uh, Mr. Ambassador, His Excellency Daniel Rosenblum, he visited to our Access English for STEM project 2019, October, and uh, he met with our STEM project students and uh, Access alumni, uh, and they had a nice uh, conversation about, related about Daniel Rosenblum's uh, education, life, and uh, uh, his uh, excellency's uh, diplomacy job. In this uh, picture, you can see uh, uh, the first photo, it is in San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge. I showed this bridge uh, because I was amazed at the architecture of this uh, US and because when you cross this br bridge, you can see the uh, special monument uh, dedicated to the architecture of this bridge. And uh, can you imagine it's more than 240 years, uh, this bridge, uh, uh, but the stability and quality of this bridge is amazing. And uh, what I thrilled the year, I uh, I was shocked the uh, by the respect to the architecture here. So it's kind of a masterpiece. Uh, I showed uh, this uh, picture shared uh, even to my STEM students as well. Now next picture in uh, it's in Lincoln, Nebraska. So. It's common uh, lying with your laptop, having Wi-Fi, and uh, working, uh, studying, using your laptop. In this picture, because uh, in 2013, I was an alumni of Fulbright Visiting Scholar Program. I was blessed to be a student at, uh, researcher at Cal State University of Fullerton, Orange County, and then I, I became the member member of Pres President Richard uh, Nixon's library. So President Nixon's library, so it gives you the membership. Still, I have electronic membership as well. I receive all the new uh, announcements, they are what is happening or event announcements. So it gives a kind of a 
motivation to you to learn the leaders, famous uh, US president's life, and uh, you can have access to their books and library. Next picture, you can see it's uh, in front of my uh, Cal State University Fullerton Langstorff Hall. Uh, in this whole fifth floor, I had an office and I worked in this office as a researcher. So uh, uh, it, uh, I, I think I am blessed uh, with my working hard and uh, with my dedication and strong commitment to teaching uh, to be in US three times. So the first program I was in T program, American Council's T program. 2003, uh, we went to uh, California State University, Chico, and we, uh, I learned in this exchange, international exchange program. And second time, I visited the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in 2008 uh, and studied semester there, higher education leadership. And the third time, I applied as a Fulbright visiting scholar and I was a finalist and uh, learned uh, how to do a research and uh, worked on my research, published uh, articles together with my US uh, professors. Now I'm going to invite uh, some of uh, access, Urkensh Access alumni here. They are with me together. They like to share their uh, memories <laughs> about access, please. Irada, please, you can come. Hi, everyone. I am an Access Micro Scholarship Program alumni. I studied in the years of 2014 and 2015. During the two years of study, I gained a good command of English. Additionally, this program helped me to broaden my horizons by means of uh, teamwork building and uh, group project works and uh, communicative English. What I liked mo most was um, reading clubs because uh, by this way we had a chance of reading Ameri uh, English books by famous American writers. And we were made to speak about the main idea of the text that we have read. By this way, my speaking skill has also improved. And uh, with the help of the knowledge I gained in access, I acquired a B1 certificate in CFR result for the preparation. And currently, I am, an, uh, I am a third year student in Oregon State University and uh, my instructor is Hirzana Sharifa. I'm so glad and thankful to the organizers and teachers of this program. Thank you, Irada. We have one more access alumni. Uh, she's Mahuza. Uh -huh. uh, in PPT slides, you have seen in here some photos in the Women's History Month. Yes, Mahuza? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm an Access alumni. I was only 15 years old when I became an Access student, and my English was not perfect at that time. With the help of hardworking teachers, uh, I improved my all four integrated skills, especially my speaking skills, with the help of puppet shows and the visits of uh, American guests. Uh, speaking with these guests, I I developed my speaking as uh, speaking skills and reading skills. Um, with uh, I can say that with the help of Access program, I achieved my CFR, CFR certificate and I entered the university with this uh, knowledge. And till this time, I am very thankful for all the access teachers, especially for Firza Macharipua. Uh, she always helped me and motivated me to work on myself and improve my all skills. And 
Um, thank you for you also. Um, can you say the best uh, experience from Access program? Yeah. Yes, of course. Um, with our old uh, Access team, we visited so many places. Uh, for mm -hmm. example, um, field trips. Yes, field trips. Mm -hmm. um, Mamon Academy and Nucius Museums. Yes, Museums. And these visits. In, 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 made me to interest in art as well mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, you showed me so many things and you taught me so many things uh, about english and very, i'm very thankful for you thank you uh, to u.s embassy for yes, sponsoring this project yes of course thank you very much Mahosa. we have one more student uh, Danyar, from access english for stem project please Danyar. Hi there, my name is Danyar. I studied in STEM project uh, from 2018 to 2020. During this project, I gained a lot of things and uh, I got experience which would be useful for my future path. And uh, nowadays I am applying for master's degree and in the prestigious university. And uh, in this pre Application process, uh, skills I had uh, gained uh, through the STEM project helped me a lot, especially writing in personal statement and interview sessions. And uh, by this uh, STEM project, without any preparation, I obtained IELTS certificate. And uh, I'm going to uh, say thank for sponsor uh, US Embassy. And, and what about why why uh, IP, IP and, project? Um, I have been selected as a candidate for a young professional internship program, which mm -hmm. uh, is uh, sponsored by US M Embassy. YPIP program. Yes. yes. And mm -hmm. uh, next, uh, and next, next step is next step is uh, we are going to go to Tashkent, and uh, American Council uh, is going to uh, uh, send the host company. A host company. company yeah. Thank you very much, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> So, as you say, this uh, program uh, not only teaches English, it uh, expands the global mindset of our students with the help of enhancement activities, personal development activities like writing CVs, producing resumes, uh, writing recommendation letters, or how to write, how to fill applications and interviewing uh, skills. And of course, uh, we are really thankful for U.S. Embassy uh, Relo project uh, as program as well for sponsoring this uh, outstanding, tremendous program. Uh, we have our saying that Access is the future industry of talented youth of Khwarezm. So uh, uh, they they are uh, they are I can say that they are different totally. We can say that they are global citizens which are ready to study abroad with uh, uh, full of skills uh, which we uh, can say that they needed in 21st century skills and they are already um, like uh equipped themselves uh, with we can say transferable skills but we can say also soft skills so they have leadership skills team building skills critical thinking skills so i think they are future of our uzbekistan and the future are in hands of our talented youth uh, thank you very much again for U.S. Uh, embassy for empowering young people, young minds, and even our, it's kind of a, empowering our teachers as well, because uh, last week we were in Namangan for access conference, and uh, our organ access teachers are really grateful because uh, it's good for the uh, professional and personal development as well. Sharing mm -hmm. some uh, teaching strategies with uh, English language fellows or English language coaches or Fulbright ETs. Uh, these kind of uh, conferences always motivate us, inspires our teachers, and uh, they have a strong commitment to teaching English and working at Access. We love Access. 
That's uh -huh. great. Thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. It's been impressive. And it was great to see some of your uh, alumni who shared their access experience. It's been uh -huh. great. Thank you so much. Uh, let's now uh, move forward to the questions we got on, on YouTube and Facebook. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, a lot of people is greeting you, uh, saying, that good day. Uh, I'm, we have people joined from Andijan. Yes, saw that also from Andijan Axis. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we have a question from Saudat uh, Erka Boyeva. What professional mm -hmm. development opportunities for teachers are there in this program? So, yeah, there are many. Uh, tremendous professional development opportunities uh, for this program because uh, as U.S. Embassy sponsors uh, with cutting-edge textbooks, these textbooks has uh, like a teacher's book and they are uh, not in uh, Uzbekistan, I think. It's only in this access program which uh, equips uh, our teachers uh, like uh, 21st century teaching strategies and skills. And besides that, uh, there are a lot of opportunities like attending conferences in uh, Nur Sultan, Almaty for KTEC conferences. KTEC means uh, Central Asian Teachers of English Conference. And we have uh, some professional development opportunities to attend TISOL conference as well, and uh, like national conferences in Uzbekistan. For example, in this current academic year, we attended Bukhara conference, Bukhara Access Conference, and uh, Namangan. Last week, uh, we were with Urgench team teachers in Namangan. Mm -hmm. So we're really fascinated by Wendy Colson and uh, uh, ESN coaches, Zaya Mina Gavel and uh, our teachers uh, get acquainted with Fulbright ETAs and share, they exchange it, they are strategies, you know, sharing means caring. We learn from each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we have a short question from um, Murat Abdullah Bara. He is wondering if these pictures were taken in Uzbekistan. Uh, yes, in Uzbekistan classroom, uh, except uh, my university photos in the US, uh, but all the other photos taken in uh, Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. We have a question from Lovar Malikova, and she's asking, can university students participate in this program? And her next question is how we can get more information about application process. So this program is designed only for secondary school or middle school students uh, who aged like uh, secondary and high school students aged uh, uh, 13 to 18. Uh, we done some uh, university program uh, as well, but it was a STEM project. Maybe in future we can extend a STEM project as well. Uh, if we apply proposals to U.S. Embassy. But the uh, current access program only intended audience is middle school and high school students. And the application process, uh, you have to contact with U.S. Embassy. <laughs> right. Thank you. Um, we have a comment from Azamat Gaipov. I've seen what this project looks like, very useful for those who are new to English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, next comment from Mamajan Kuranboyeva. This program is great opportunity for the students to gain not only knowledge of English, but also to enrich their outlook. Yes, uh, yeah, it, uh, the program expands the uh, mindset of all our students. Ulubek mm -hmm. for Salaev, sorry, uh, he is uh, saying it seems the project are provided friendly environment to the pupils as well as to help improve their organizational skills. Yes, exactly. The program uh, nurtures uh, students, school students, team building skills. 
and uh, leadership skills and project management skills. Uh, so they are, it gives, it provides them with confidence. For example, last week we were in Namangan and uh, access students were conference moderators. Can you imagine? Of course, this gives them motivation and uh, confidence. And if students are confident because they are future leaders, so they can be moderators in future in different uh, foreign uh, international conferences. Yeah, so we have a lot of uh, comments. Uh, let me ask you a question. So you uh, have participated in three exchange programs um, in the United States. Can you tell us, please, what impressed you most about uh, the education, uh, the, US, the U.S. education system? Uh, the most striking point is our education system is uh, centralized, but in U.S. it is decentralized system. And uh, I, I'm really thrilled by the libraries of U.S because students just live in libraries. I spent my 20 hours a day at libraries. Uh, you can't imagine, uh, they have all the facilities for students. You can say that it's kind of a research uh, area. You, you, you will bring your laptop, you will have a Wi-Fi, and you will have access to all types of databases, like very rare databases we don't have in Uzbekistan. So you can have access and you can easily learn about uh, like famous scholars, articles, you can learn about their research dissertations. And uh, even you can learn about, for example, if you would like to publish some impact factor scopus or Web of Science articles, uh, you will get easily access. You will easily uh, have uh, access to just journals or other databases, EBS core. There are hundreds of databases uh, which uh, provide you uh, to research world. Mm -hmm. I love libraries. Uh, I still remember, it's nostalgia for me. Libraries, US libraries, uh, going there with my backpack laptop and spending my, uh, I don't know, sometimes it was midnight and then uh, we live at a campus area, residential area, and it was uh, really memorable and uh, lasting impressions in my life. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. We have a comment from uh, an alumna of the access program, Nargisa Masharipova. Yeah. If I share my own experience related to this program as a former access teacher, oh, she's a teacher. So I can mention yeah. without any doubt that the variety of events, enhancement activities, and many other really provided improvement in both my personal and professional development. Yeah, exactly. Nargiza, uh, she's doing now her PhD. Yeah, uh, she's now temporarily uh, out of program, but uh, she herself uh, indicated that this program uh, furnished, equipped you personally and professionally because professional grows through, we say uh, everywhere in Uzbekistan, oh, we are conducting learner-centered classes, but what is real learner-centered classroom? If you really would like to learn it, be access teacher, and then <laughs> it will give you professional growth and uh, it will provide you all the teaching skills, 21st century skills, you will need it. You will uh, be shaped yourself with all necessary skills. <laughs> Thank you. And all BXL Life is uh, saying STEM project effective to improve our students' knowledge and skills in English language. Yes, uh, Ulubek, yeah, I know uh, STEM, we had uh, like technology, IT students as well, and uh, one of uh, our IT STEM student is now producing his uh, STEM dictionary, e-dictionary. So it's so, isn't it fascinating, amazing? So the program has lasting impressions. Even they graduate the program, but they become auto, automatic, uh, it fosters learner autonomy. So they are, 
they become independent learners. They themselves continue applying graduate degree programmers and then PhD programmers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. One more comment from Zarnugar Urinova. Access is a great opportunity for youngsters to learn the English language and American culture. Also, the program gives a hand to them to succeed in their future life. Yeah, undoubtedly, because we mostly use American English state that go materials. We have reading clubs as well. In our reading clubs, we use audio books of American English state dot, dot go materials. They have like MP3, MP4 format and PDF format as well. We, we as teachers design some reading activities according to our uh, students level. There are tremendous reading uh, literature uh, like we can say graded re graded reading literature which is uh, beneficial to our access students mm -hmm. thank you we have one more question from Bursha Mahmudova what is the most exciting part of being an access teacher uh, what is the most exciting yeah exciting part of being an access teacher uh, as I mentioned above, uh, being access teacher, it's kind of a, uh, you can say it's, uh, we call it CPD, uh, continuous professional development or lifelong learning. It's uh, some teachers, they pay to get some uh, lifelong learning or they pay or they apply different programs. But Within the program, U.S. Embassy provides several times access workshops to us. Like uh, we have our coordinator, Firuz Akabirov, Umida Baltaeva, Nadira. Uh, so they provide master classes, and uh, Joan Cramp, uh, she provides online TV classes. These master classes uh, will help our teachers' professional uh, growth. So these are the best, most striking part being access teacher. And uh, uh, you, one of my teacher, I still remember her words. She, she said that uh, uh, when I when she became T T uh, finalist T program, she thought that she was on top of her professional development. But then she said, Nargiza Hamraiva, I was at the very beginning of my professional development because it doesn't mean being finalist of teaching excellence uh, award. After that, it started in the national conferences, uh, attending in the national conferences or uh, giving uh, workshops in different trainings. Yes, this uh, highly motivates and uh, uh, will help to your will help to embrace your region teachers or your uzbekistan english teachers ecosystem we can say yes mm -hmm. we have so many comments uh with thanks and kudos from your students and uh, your colleagues uh, mm -hmm. and i want also to join them and say thank you so much for this great presentation oh, in what's the discussion today. Yeah, Akbarjan also our STEM student. I really like, I'm proud of my Akbarjan Ruzimov. He's a STEM uh, alumni, STEM project alumni. He is now, uh, go, he, after this program, he became like autonomous learner and he already published two articles, scholastic articles. And mm -hmm. he, he's already started his, uh, research on uh, learning uh, some type of fish in Amudarya river here in local problem case study he's doing very uh, great job which is beneficial to our Kharezm environment ecosystem and the uh, learning RLC and Amudarya fishes and they are benefits which strikes us even uh, he's graduating this year year four uh, in these months, he's graduating, but he has already accepted, I think, applied uh, three or two uh, abroad universities. Uh, I think mm -hmm. it's kind of a, uh, like just a result of this uh, tremendous program access.
program. We would be happy to hear about his uh, research uh, work uh, at one of our next alumni talks. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that would be great. very uh, dedicated uh, STEM student. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's actually time to wrap up. I want to thank again everyone who joined us today uh, for your great comments and questions. Uh, it's been a very interesting session. And thank you, Feliz Akhon, for uh, joining our session as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, and see you at our next Alumni Talks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.